Concentration of Ores In this module, you will learn about the different methods used for the concentration of ores, which means removal of unwanted materials associated with the ores. Minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and economically are called ores. Ores are found in the earth crust and contain one or more metal compounds along with certain non-metallic and earthy impurities. The extraction of a metal from its ore involves several physical and chemical processes such as the concentration of ore, isolation of metal from the concentrated ore and purification of the metal. All these processes are collectively referred to as metallurgy. In this module, you will learn in detail about the first step of metallurgy, the concentration of ore. Concentrating an ore means getting rid of all the unwanted materials from the ore, which are also referred to as the gang. Depending on the properties of the ore and its gang, the methods used for concentrating an ore may include hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, froth flotation and leaching. Let's first learn in detail about the method of hydraulic washing which is based on the difference in the gravities of the ore and the gang particles. In hydraulic washing, powdered ore is spread on a sloping block having crooks. When a stream of water is allowed to flow over the ore, lighter gang particles get washed away leaving the heavier ore particles behind within the grooves. In magnetic separation, powdered ore is passed over a conveyor belt running over two rollers, one out of which is magnetic. The magnetic particles get attracted to the magnetic roller and travel a distance with the conveyor belt little longer than the non-magnetic particles. Therefore, the non-magnetic particles drop down first forming a heap whereas the magnetic particles drop down a little later forming a separate heap. The next method used for concentration of ore is the froth flotation method which is based on the difference in the wetting properties of the ore and the gang particles. The froth flotation method is used exclusively for sulphide ores where the ore particles are wetted by oil while the gang particles are wetted by the water. In the froth flotation method the powdered ore is mixed with water and small amount of fine oil. The resulting mixture is then agitated by blowing compressed air through it. The oil in the mixture forms froth with the air. The froth rises up to the surface containing the ore particles. The gang particles on the other hand settle down in water. Froth is then collected in another container where it is washed and dried to obtain the concentrated ore. In the leaching method, the powdered bauxite ore is treated with hot and concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide. The ore dissolves in sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate and silica dissolves to form sodium silicate. The other impurities, however, remain undissolved and are later filtered out. The filtrate containing the sodium aluminate and sodium silicate is further treated with carbon dioxide gas. This leads to the precipitation of the hydrated aluminium oxide leaving behind sodium silicate in the solution. The hydrated aluminium oxide is then filtered out and heated strongly to form pure aluminium oxide. In this module you have learned that naturally occurring chemical substances containing metals are called minerals and those minerals from which metals can be extracted conveniently and economically are called ores. The extraction of a metal from its ore involves several physical and chemical processes namely concentration of ore, isolation of metal from the concentrated ore and the purification of the metal. Concentration of ore means getting rid of all the unwanted materials which are also referred as gang from the ore. 
Commonly used methods for the concentration of ores include hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, froth flotation and leaching. Hydraulic washing is based upon the difference in the gravities of the ore and gang particles. Magnetic separation is based on the difference in the magnetic properties of ore and gang particles. Froth flotation process is based on the difference in the wetting properties of the ore and gang particles. Leaching process is used when the ore particles are soluble in such a solvent in which the gang particles cannot dissolve. 